Hello Yash and welcome to 10 questions. When starting off, what is the best advice you ever received about the film industry? Nobody kind of advised me but yeah, I think one of uh, my DOP had told one thing that uh, every day you have to go to shoot as if you're going to a war because the whole world is trying to break your plan. <laughs> so I think that is very real and I kind of connect to it. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. If not rocking star, and if you could choose your own title, hmm. what would it be? Vishwamanava, they say. Yeah? In Kannada, it means a um, uh, whole world is one, who believes the whole world is one, and humanity is what I believe in. So, Vishwamanava, I can say it in Kannada, but I don't know how to put it in English. <laughs> you explained it, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. The first film you saw in a theatre was? As a kid? Do you oh, remember? I think a uh, lot of... Uh, Ambrishana's film, I think. Yeah. I remember, but my parents say they used to take me to every movie. From the age of two years, or I've been going to theatres. What was your first vivid memory then of... A, of yeah, a I was uh, throwing uh, all the bananas and this thing. When I was upset or something. That's Bananas? Yeah, yeah. My parents and all, we come from middle class family. Sometimes even for the theatre, they used to take uh, snacks from oh, okay, home. Okay. The, the, all of that, they will give you. As a kid, you know, if you don't like it, you tend to throw. <laughs> oh my God. I hope it <laughs> I do fall remember in because it, front it, of it, it was an issue, that's why. <laughs> I remember that. That's a vivid uh, memory I have. So, speaking of your parents, how many times have you tried to convince your father to give up? his job as a bus driver. Oh, I had to do it. But I didn't force him, but it's just that I was feeling, uh, you know, as a son, you always want your father to, you know, relax or do something which is less difficult because all his life he has worked hard for my, right. uh, our growth or uh, this thing. But then I realized that's what he loves because he said, no, let me do my job, you do your job. I'll be bored if I don't do it. He said, you are an actor because of what I did. In the, it, nothing to do with disrespect or anything. I just wanted him to enjoy. Yeah, yeah. And then I realized this what is quality what? I have and that, is, that has come from my father. So we don't enjoy. We enjoy when we do what we love to do. Right. So that was the thing. And then uh, later when uh, my sister uh, got a baby boy is when I could convince him because he wanted to spend time with him. That's when he uh, retired. retired. But did he tell you what he enjoyed so much about the job? Everything about the job. The travel, you know, the... Tra no, all, see, sometimes it is... Not everybody is lucky to do a job what you love. Okay. In our uh, lives, that we should accept. Uh, so, they did it for their living. So, he started as a lorry driver and then in his life, to get a government job and become a BMTC driver was an achievement. Yeah. It's not easy. Not everybody can do that. And then the way he used to take care of the bus and the way he used to interact with people and he kind of had a family relationship. He used to tell me that there are a lot of... They used to take me also. Sometimes when uh, we don't have... A, on holidays, mom used to send me because the two kids, they have to meet him. So I used to go with him, stand next to him when he's driving. I used to feel like I own the bus. You know, it's my dad's bus and all of that. And then people used to come and they tend to develop a relationship every day. They talk and he used to think about their timings because early morning, uh, five o'clock, they had a train. So he used, he used to be awake around four or something and he didn't want to be late because because of him, so many people might miss the train. So that, uh, that is the way he used to enjoy his profession. And when somebody says, sir, you're very punctual, you're on time, okay. whenever you are coming, we don't have to worry, we won't miss a train. That is the pride he used to get. Right. So whatever we do in life, it will give you such moments. Right. And I think he has done a fantastic thing. He's got uh, his, uh, you know, some awards and all. My dad has got in that department. And I'm happy and proud that okay. uh, whatever I am today, it is because of that BMTC, uh, this thing, and my dad's hard work. What is your favorite subject in school? History was uh, one of my favorite subjects, social studies. Yeah, not maths. <laughs> <laughs> Economics, maybe. So there's a chance that you might have become a historian. Uh, no, I never thought of all those things. History, maybe I can think of visuals in my ah, head. So the cinema, cinematic connection. So it's all okay. cinema, nothing to do 
uh, without cinema i have not lived my life <laughs> so it's like one of those movies where you open your history book and you start imagining yeah I used to this do that. war and I used to that, do that yeah. uh, you know whatever. story is i think uh, something which everybody wants deepest desire is to listen to a good story <laughs> so that's why i am in this profession you worked in the theater i just what was the biggest lesson that you learned from theater kill your ego theater uh, tells you one important lesson it's a uh, teamwork as an actor uh, you have to sweep the floor set the stage i know your costume come there help your co-actor or somebody uh, a set boy or whoever the backstage workers so that teaches you that only intention is to entertain the audience and you uh, you enjoy it when they appreciate you so that i learned from theater can you be objective about your work and see the mistakes that you've made on screen truly <laughs> you can be yeah yeah i think all actors go through that thing right yeah i we tend to find our faults and a lot of people say you being too critical but that's how we improve yeah. the moment you think uh, you have you know you're fantastic and all of that is when <laughs> you know the trouble starts right the reason i ask this question is also because i know actors who don't see their films huh. because they're just like terrified that that they will find no. a lot of mistakes and they they no. morale will go no, down no 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 you have to face it and I, in my opinion you have to face it and then learn from it right. it's i don't run away from my mistakes i just want to see what is it what could i have been done but most of the times it's best of my knowledge at that particular time yeah i would have done it yeah. after one year it, if you look back you'll feel are you could have done a, done it in a different way yeah who's the actor that inspired you the most every actor has got his speciality and trust me i'm not trying to be diplomatic when i say this i have grown up watching everybody's film right i have never been thinking about okay this is my favorite actor and i'll only watch his film whoever entertained me whoever every hero has a different style every actor has got his persona so i picked up everything from everybody right you know starting from dr rajkumar you know the simplicity or the kind of uh, humility he had he is a great example in our industry and then uh, rajini sir we, the confidence level or the style so there are many you know if i start taking names it will sound like i'm trying to you know take names right so, what about the hollywood actor everybody Again. Who, okay. if i see a Jam- I, i watch james bond movie also and i watch um, you know marvel films also and i watch local uh, kannada films also tamil films also telugu So everybody, everybody. You, take, you take the best from everybody yeah that's yeah. how you should be you know you like somebody is a good dancer somebody is a good uh, performer somebody has got good physique get inspiration okay what is harm in taking <laughs> good things from everybody you have to take it now you have this ngo called yashomarga how do you decide which project to take up next no that's little blown out of proportion i have not done uh, anything great and Didn't i'm not doing the desilting of the I river do, i did i yeah. did uh, yeah. but that was to set an example right you know there was a water issue you know every time you see a lot of people we go through that farmers are going through that crisis and all, all the political angles and all of that so there was some issue happening in all of that with it so i i realized one thing i don't belong to the category where uh, you know, i point finger at someone what can i do is what i think you know i'm nobody and i'm a small guy but with this ability what can i do to help people or to set an example that's when uh, i thought desilting the lake is a better example than to point finger at somebody or some issue so i just uh, thought we should do that and we did uh, desilting of one uh, thing and 20 villages around that this thing where uh, you know they came out of that water crisis at that time and it's a process but that inspired a lot of people to do it right so that was the vision and mission but when i say asho marga foundation we do small little things wherever i feel it is good i feel i should do it this mostly to do some things where i feel i should do it it's not about let me do something today what is this plan what is the schedule okay i have a plan this year we want to do this we want to help so many people nothing like that whenever i feel like there is a need if i feel i can do it i do it through that foundation that's it 
But why do you say it's blown out of proportion? How many actors do you there find? Are, there uh, are, no, 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 no. There are people who have uh, regenerated 100 lakes in my state. No, no, I'm sure. But, but you know, there are a lot of, you don't find too many people in this profession, like actually putting their own. They must be doing, how do you know? You See, we do so I said you don't find too many people. No, so I'm, I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not arguing correct, with correct. you. <laughs> I'm just saying that it's a good thing. So Yeah, I, that's why I, I allow things which inspires people to come out. Right. We also do so many things which will not come out. Right. Because, it, it, you know, today's world, sometimes when you try to do something good also, it looks as if, why is he doing? You know, people tell, why is he not doing anything? And if they try to do something, they will also tell that, why is he doing? Is he getting into politics? Has he some other <laughs> intention? So, it's very tricky for an actor. You know, you do your job, chill. If you want to do something, do it. If it is something where you feel it needs to be addressed in an open way, you do it. If you can address the issue and just be quiet about it, you do that and just enjoy your life. Finally, apart from cinema, what is your biggest passion? I can't think anything beyond cinema. Okay. But if you say passion, uh, you know, I've come from uh, scratch and uh, I know what it takes to come up in life. It doesn't mean I have a formula. It's just those qualities, those personality, what you develop. So, I always tend to give it out. Whatever I believe in or whatever has worked for me, I tend to believe it. Probably I will work on those areas where rural India or youngsters who are inferior in so many things because of their looks or because of their uh, financial status or the uh, uh, inferiority about the language. You know, a lot of people in our country, English becomes the biggest problem. Yeah. I never used to speak in English. So that was like a very big problem and other language, every language. So to conquer that, all you need is confidence and effort. So probably I'll be talking about that trying to you know, empower youngsters through my videos or speech. I don't know. I have not thought about it since you asked. Maybe something like that. I I, might do. And I hope that happens. Thank you so much. Thank you.